I have a sneaking suspicion that pigs are spawning in those leaves out because that's a deep ocean out there and there's a sheer cliff face. If I could figure out how to exploit those leaves so the pigs would drop down into a container, they would be easy to butcher or to slap a saddle on to ride around. Well, I don't know. In thinking about um, bullies a lot, uh, well, yeah, basically since I've been on YouTube, because there's so many of them, and they're so, uh, pervasive and very nasty without real justification. So I've been thinking about, now why would that be, not that I want to waste a lot of time on bullies, but I, I do wonder why that would be, because there must be a solution for it somehow. Uh, but I don't I haven't been able to articulate it or figure out what that solution would be. But I think I'm onto something. I think this is based completely on having had interactions with them and seeing some of the really foolish things they jump to as conclusions about other people. Bullies are not very smart. I'm not saying that because I want to like think I'm better than them or to like trash them or some crap like that. It's not what this is about. Because I come from a background like this so I think I can actually speak to this because I have some personal experience in this. I think these people don't think very well and I think the reason for that is trauma they may not be very smart anyway but I think that they've been surrounded by traumatic events that have left them cynical and suspicious of everybody else around them suspecting people's motives um, automatically jumping to the conclusion that if somebody is doing something they can't believe is true then that person must be trying to pull a scam I get this a lot on my channel because people really can't believe that people are poor and still on the internet and still speaking about their life experiences. Well, I'm not the only one who does this. There are lots of people who do this, but it seems like I'm the only person they've ever encountered who is as low income as I am and willing to actually articulate that out loud, what it's like to be as low income as I am. And that my life experience is vastly different from the experiences of a lot of people around me or that I associate with online who live basically eh, moderately middle class lives or close to it um, with family, with uh, brick and mortar houses around them, with running water, take showers every day, blah, blah, blah. And they really seem not to be able to believe that anybody could live the way I do, so I must be lying. Now, I used to get defensive about that and um, feel misunderstood and these people really do scare me because they don't think well and they tend to be uh, punitive. They tend to be get really agitated and punishing if you're expression of your reality is not something with which they are familiar and something with which they can relate. If I'm not like you, then I must be lying. That's the thing. So they scare me because they will punish you for speaking. I have one guy who seems to be very unbalanced who uh, for a while was going through my videos with like a fine tooth comb looking for reasons to condemn me and uh, assume that I'm a fake and you know 
So at first I was like, subscriber to my channel and I was like so blown away when he started insinuating that um, my experience isn't real and that I'm trying to uh, manipulate and um, use people. Uh, at first I was really alarmed by him, but now I see that this uh, immediate cynicism, this immediate um, impulse, without rational thought, an impulse to assume that, oh dear, I messed up, to assume that somebody that he doesn't understand must be a liar. So he really scared me and he followed me around the internet, which is alarming in itself because that's stalking behavior. Like he was obsessed with me. He has obsessions with other people too. He has whole websites devoted to people that he is absolutely convinced are scoundrels. And he included me in this because frankly, he couldn't believe that I was low income. He thought I was running a scam. It just amazed me that somebody would subscribe to my channel and jump to such a ridiculous conclusion about me when he was seeing my videos, seeing how I live, I could not understand how he could be so convinced that I was a bad guy and trying to pull some kind of shady deal. I lost my lava, didn't I? Yeah. The mindset of a person who automatically, I mean automatically, without thinking, it's reflexive, automatically jumps to the conclusion that other people are lying and trying to hate and use them. I think those people have been victims of con artists were perpetrators in the past. And their assumption now is that everybody's running a hustle. And when they meet somebody who isn't, but whose life experience is really, really different than theirs, their automatic reactionary tendency is to presume, presume that that person is a phony and a liar and will start picking at the smallest things, looking for evidence to support their confirmation bias. Everything about you becomes, that they can harness, becomes some sort of evidence in their instantaneous trial and execution and condemnation of you. Now the trick is to not take that personally. In the case of that one person, I suspect that he might, if he were on the same continent as I am, he might be dangerous to me. I think he's really invested in finding out where I live and my personal information because I've seen the way he treats other people. So in his self-righteousness, he would destroy my life in order to get his, I guess, revenge or exact his justice. He's like a caped crusader. He's a vigilante. Morality and ethics, man. We've got to have them because, you know, the Christians don't. And they're always claiming we don't. So it would behoove us to comport ourselves well, especially amongst each other. Come on, man. Because they've also bought into the false paradigm, the false dichotomy a victim perpetrator. They think that's how life is. You can use being a victim as a survival tactic by I always depend on the kindness of strangers or you can use being a perpetrator and just bullying your way through life at everybody else's expense to keep from being attacked. And notice I'm playing a game where that's part of the dynamic, the competition, the ruthlessness. I've seen videotapes on this game where people are uh, building fortifications and protections to keep other people from bombing them and uh, performing malicious deeds on their castles and, and their fortresses because they, uh, they do malicious things to each other and that's part of the game is this competitive not cooperative stuff. I was playing for a while on a server that was somewhat cooperative, but the people were steeped in this gaming culture of competition and really couldn't help themselves uh, feeling superior to me because I'm vision impaired and so on and the game is difficult for me to navigate.